The Ember Inspector is a browser extension which helps you understand and debug running Ember applications. Hi, Gavin Joyce here. In the next few minutes, we'll take a quick look at some of the great features of the Ember Inspector. I'm going to install the Chrome extension, but it's also available for Firefox and as a bookmarklet for other browsers. To install, visit the Chrome Web Store and click Add to Chrome. Now when you load any Ember app, you'll see a new Ember tab in DevTools. So let's start with the Info tab. It shows the current versions of various libraries used within your app. Here you can see that Intercom, the app that I work on, is using Ember and Ember Data 2.4. In the Data tab, you can see all the Ember data models used within the app. Here we can inspect models, navigate relationships between models, and update model data. We're looking at a campaign here, and in Inspector, we can easily find the campaign model and update its properties. Notice that the app UI live updates as I make changes to the model data. The Roots tab shows all the roots in your application. We have hundreds of roots in our app, but we can filter by current root only to see the list of the currently active roots. Clicking on a root or on a controller will send that to the object inspector on the right where we can inspect and manipulate it. Clicking on the dollar $E will send the object to the console. The View tab shows the currently rendered view tree for the app. You can also include components by checking the checkbox. The Render Performance tab gives you access to useful render time metrics. This data is useful for comparing relative render times across your app and can be helpful when identifying possible render bottlenecks. In order to keep this video short, I've skipped over many additional details of the inspector. The Ember Guides includes a comprehensive section on the inspector and it goes into much more detail. If you need help, you can chat to us in the Ember community Slack. I'll put links to that and everything else that I've mentioned in the video description below. Thanks.